What is going on guys? It is Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to live stream from your PlayStation 5 console. So before I show you how to actually live stream from your PS5, we're going to have to test our internet to see if we are capable of live streaming with our internet speeds. So head up to the settings menu here, then go down to network, and then in connection status go to view connection status. Then we can go all the way down to the bottom and our connection speeds should be listed. If they're not, then we can test them by pressing triangle, and this can take a few minutes depending on how fast our internet actually is so just be patient while it checks the speeds all right so my test has finished so i got a 90.2 megabit download and an 11.7 megabit upload so the number we really care about for this video is the upload because we are going to be live streaming or uploading data to the internet so a good upload speed is anywhere from 3 to 13 megabits per second so i have a really good upload speed fortunately you can still live stream if it is under 3 but you're going to have to lower the quality significantly if you want to actually broadcast it it without it lagging at all. If you want to know how to increase your internet speed right from your PlayStation 5, I have videos on that linked down below. So if you have a slower upload or even a slower download and you want to increase it so you can have a higher quality live stream or even less laggy gameplay, then be sure to check out that video down in the description below. So once we know our upload speed, we can exit out of here and we can go to the broadcast settings back here on the main settings menu. So all the way down here, captures and broadcasts, then go down to broadcast. And the first thing we want to change is our video quality. So this is going to depend on on what number you got in your upload speed test. So if you have anything below three, you're going to want to set it to the lowest possible. Even around four or five, you're going to want it lower around here at 1280 by 720. It's still HD and it still looks pretty good, but it will be lower quality compared to the full HD up here at the top. So anywhere around the three megabit range, leave it here in the 1280 by 720. If it's a little bit above three, you can increase it all the way to 60 frames at that resolution. And then if you're in like the seven to 10 range, you can have it here at 1920 by 1080 and if it's anything above 10 then you can set it to full right here at 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second so change this according to your upload speeds and once you're done with that we can exit out of here and we have a few other settings we can change so we have our audio options this basically allows us to include the voice chat in our broadcast so for any party with voice chat enabled that will be picked up in our broadcast uh camera here this allows us to change the settings if we have a ps5 camera connected i do not have a ps5 camera so I can't really go in depth into all these settings but if you want to include your face in your PS5 broadcast this is the place to do it. If we go down here to overlays we can change what kind of information we have displayed on our screen while we're broadcasting so if we want our chat displayed in the actual broadcast window we can do that by selecting this option. We can display how many people are watching our broadcast by toggling this right here and we can change the position of all of that information with the overlay position setting right here. The last thing we can do is change the chat to speech so if you want want our comments read to us while we are gaming. If you don't want to be distracted by looking over at the chat while we're in a game, we can have the comments read aloud to us. So that does it for all the broadcast options here. So now we can actually head into a game and start our live streams. All right, so I'm in the Spider-Man 4 PS4 game here. So to start a broadcast, we can press the create button on our DualSense controller. That's the button on the left, which replaced what used to be the share button on the DualShock 4. So this button right here, if you press that, it'll open up the create menu. You. Now, I've already gone over all of these other options here on how to take screenshots and record gameplay. So if you'd like to know how to record gameplay videos for YouTube or other platforms, I have videos linked down below for that. But what we really care about is the broadcast option over here on the right side. So if we select it, it gives us two options. We can either broadcast to Twitch or YouTube. So we have to link these accounts first. So if it is not linked, it'll give you a little message right there. So you're going to have to go and add the account. You can also do that in the PlayStation settings menu here in users and accounts. Accounts. If you go down to link with other services, you can link your Twitch and YouTube accounts right here as well. When you link it, it'll basically just open up a web page that uh, takes you to the login screen for whatever account you're trying to log in with. So just put in your username and your password and authorize whatever needs to be approved here and you'll be good to go. So back in game here, we can choose our broadcast service of choice. So I'm going to go with YouTube and it'll open up this screen where we can change some basic settings for our live stream. So we can change the title of the broadcast. We can change the description tags privacy and stuff like that we can also change the settings that i showed you in the playstation settings menu if we just go up here to the three dots go to broadcast options and you can change all of those settings like the chat and the quality and stuff like that just right here in game which is nice and easy for us 
So once everything is the way I like it, all I have to do is press go live and I will start my live stream and it'll be broadcast to YouTube. Now once you are done live streaming, all you have to do is press the create button and it'll give you an option to stop the broadcast. So that about does it for today's tutorial. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below. If you have any questions about live streaming or internet speeds or PlayStation 5 stuff in general, leave that all down below. Other than that, I've been Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide, and be sure to have a wonderful rest of your day.